the Upanishads translated by F. Max Miller in two parts. Part one. Aitreya Aranyaka, second Aranyaka, first Adhyaya, seventh Kanda. Now follow the powers of that person. By his speech, earth and fire were created. Herbs are produced on the earth, and Agni, fire, makes them ripe and sweet. Take this, take this. Thus saying, do earth and fire serve their parent, speech? As far as the earth reaches, as far as fire reaches, so far does his word extend. And as long as the world of the earth and fire does not decay, so long does his world not decay. Who thus knows this power of speech by breath in the nose? The sky and the air were created. The people follow the sky and hear along the sky, while the air carries along pure scent. Thus do sky and air serve their parent, the breath. As far as the sky reaches, as far as the air reaches, so far does this world extend. And as long as the world of the sky and the air does not decay, so long does his world not decay. He thus knows this power of breath. By his eye, heaven and the sun were created. Heaven gives him rain and food, while the sun causes his light to shine. Thus, do the heaven and the sun serve their parent, the eye. As far as heaven reaches, and as far as the sun reaches, so far does his world extend. And as long as the world of heaven and the sun does not decay, so long does his world not decay, who thus knows the power of the eye. By his ear, the quarters and the moon were created. From all the quarters he come to him. From all the quarters he hears, while the moon produces for him the bright and the dark halves for the sake of sacrificial work. Thus do the quarters and the moon serve their parent, the ear. As far as the quarters reach, and as far as the moon reaches, so far does his world extend. And as long as the world of the quarters and the moon does not decay, so long does his world not decay, who thus knows the power of the ear. By his mind, the water and runa were created. Water yields to him faith, being used for sacred acts. Varuna keeps his offspring within the law. Thus do water and Varuna serve the parent, the mind. As far as water reaches, and as far as Varuna reaches, so far does his world extend. And as long as the world of water and Varuna does not decay, so long does his world not decay, who thus knows the power of the mind. The Purusha, as described before in the second chapter, is the Ragapate, or universal spirit, with whom the worshipper is to identify himself by meditation. The manifestations of his power consist in creating the earth, fire, the sky, the air, heaven, the sun. And, you know, this am I. It's that way of thinking. Because... What we do in our world is us using our opportunities. It's not vicarious reliance on something else. 